What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading. And we are back. Back with another daily trade review. And today was a ugly day of trading. Basically traded water all morning. Taking trades that were red and then taking small trades that were green then back to taking trades that were red and then we finally got back basically flat on the morning and i said i was done so as you can see i say this one is treading water before the storm i'm here in northeast florida and there is a hurricane brewing out on the Gulf. It's supposed to be coming across the state and it's gonna be affecting us to some extent. We may just catch some um, heavy rains and wind, but I need to get prepping for it. So we're gonna run this one fairly quick today. We're gonna jump straight into Trader View. Reviewing trades for Tuesday, September 27th. Whopping. 13 trades fighting to get back even scrapping to get back even we made nine dollars today hodgepodge of trades some stopping us out full catching a little slippage one of them going just about the target um i want to look at this one real quick Look at that. I tried to squeeze a little bit more out of it. And then it started coming back against me and I got out. And then look what it did. Literally just gave up all the ghost. That probably was. So if that was a hundred. That probably was two. This probably went six R maybe. So I wanted to look at that one. I want to look at this one. Let's see. Okay, this one we got out, uh, probably just stopping out. Only one against us, five bucks. But those were the two winners. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm going to jump straight into the video, and we can kind of watch some of them play out. So let me see, I move my uh, screen or the screen that I use. So boom, there we go. All right, so let's get rocking and uh, rolling. That's not the video. That's actually Trader view. Yes, it is actually trader view. So let's go ahead. Let's boop. That's the video. Let me click that so that I can go to here and turn on the highlighter. And let's rock and roll. So this morning we had a full watch list of stocks going long i had a full watch list of stocks that we thought would be trading high the market was kind of gapping up and my thought was if the market can hold then we should have some decent long ideas but if the market fails then we're going to be looking to go short so market opens just checking the cues to see what they were looking like it open look at that this is like an inside trading day trying to go long on this as you trading inside of the previous day's candle which is hard to do but i come over i look at atxi this was a small cap traders dream today 
And then we come over to NVDA. NVDA does this to me every time I trade it. If you go back and look at some of my videos when I trade NVDA, NVDA does this to me all the time. I just get chopped up trading this thing and I don't know what it is about it, but I really need to not try to trade this thing because it just chops me up and that's what it did today but we're looking at a one minute three bar play right here we're gonna get in this trade in about a minute so let's see what we looked at let's see how it played out It's going to look taking a peek at Tesla. Tesla wasn't really showing nothing. But like I say, looking for the one minute three bar play. I guess the good thing about looking at these in trader view is I get to see what it actually did. This one rolled over. So this was an ugly trade. So we put it in. Giving it room on the bottom. And yeah, just wasn't really wasn't really a good trade. I'm looking at it. Actually, this was a decent trade, y'all. This went one R. That's the good thing about looking at them in that is the good thing about looking at them in trader view. I'm going to um, plop this over to Trader View real quick while that's doing that. We could do it that way. So we did. We got in right there. Good one minute three bar play. This thing had went one R, pulled back. This would have hit target. We would have made target on that. So, and at the time, I think I did mention, I said that. Uh, had I took my stop to break even, I would have been good. Only real concern, if you notice, was that the uh, previous high of day was right above it. And we got Amazon trying to see if we can get something on Amazon. This would have been a halfway decent entry right there, I think. That would have been a halfway decent entry. And we missed it. It's gone already. And this thing pushed all the way up to that area that we had on the chart. But we come over, we look at um, NVDA. Like I said, this thing did go 1R in our favor. But I think tomorrow, if I get, any tr get in any trades off the open that are good trades, the worst I'm going to do is take that stop to break even because I am giving up, giving up target, moving that stop more than break even. And I mentioned that yesterday. I did mention that yesterday in a video or in the video um, that when I try to capture profits, I get tagged. But let's see right there maybe if it's a tight see that's not really a tight spread so that five putting it at five was decent that way if it does come back and i get caught in the spread it should stop me out at my break even spot but moving it up to like 20 or 25 just to capture some profit i'm giving up target but look there we we up one r so that was a good trade my concern was whether it was going to hold previous high of day. So that was the issue in taking that trade right there. Now, had this came up the previous high of day and, and, and triggered the three bar play in, I think I would have been a little more confident in the trade. But let's go ahead. Let's speed this one up. Um, we see that it does come back, tags us. And we only make $10 on that trade. Let's scroll this one up. 
we're going to go to 940 and check out the next NVDA that we get in. And this one we get blazed on. This one we just get totally blazed on. Um, I can somewhat see a pullback pattern right here, but it still ain't really totally tested it. Would have liked to have seen those be bottom and tails as opposed to those kind of indecision candles. Let's see what we do. So a 50 cent stop. Really, first area of concern would have been right there. And we busted right through it, though. Now, see, this is one that should have been getting that stop up on. When this didn't push and continue going higher. That's one that I should have. Like right now, if this doesn't just push and go, I need to be tightening the stop up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because it's struggling. But on all charts, it's still looking halfway decent. But yeah, just how I've been seeing the, the charts play out lately. If they don't set that new high and keep going, nine times out of ten, it's going to roll over. So let's kind of speed this one up. And there it goes. Not good. We won't take another trade for about three minutes. So we'll just speed this on through. Okay. This was on the short list. This is one that I can kind of kick myself in the ash on. Pause this one real quick. Let's talk about it. Uh-oh. Paused it. Let me take it back and then pause it. Okay. So this was on the short list. Major gap down. I had this area marked on the chart. And we got this bottom and tail. And then it kind of flagged up, setting higher lows. Sellers tried to push it back down. Buyers made this bottom and tail. My play on this was to get in with it at least pushing back up to high of morning. So that was the play on this, giving it a, a pretty wide stop. Good, good thought process on it, I think. So we got that order in the system. We see NVDA has came back, stopped us out. Like I said, when this pushed and set that new high and it didn't keep going, I should have been tightening the stop up. So I gave up money on that. And that was, that was all me right there. Let's keep going. So after that RNA trade, we don't take another trade for, man, 45 minutes. So let's just kind of scroll through. Let's go back. To, was, were we in that? Okay. So yeah, we're in. We're in this one now. Um, I'm still somewhat holding conviction on it. Five and the 10 was looking halfway decent. Man, that was one that I said was a small cap traders dream. This thing started this morning and just shot up. Small cap people should have made good money. So here we go. It's doing what we think it's supposed to do. Let's keep on going. So I tighten the stop up. Like I said, I don't take the next trade until 10.30. So I'm going to keep moving it up. 
gave it a wide stop so we're not gonna really start seeing any big gains until this kind of moves but it's doing what doing what i thought it was gonna do it was a good trade let me see something let me go back but look i got that that stop so tight tags me break even hopefully we'll revisit that one um a little later in the stream we'll see what it did but we'll keep going there it is look at that tag me what did i say first area of concern was gonna be right there look where it's at so we would have at least had one r that was about one r up to that area so I was looking to take a trade on this, on this five minute setup right here, but it failed. It broke below it. That trade is off the table. And then there's RNA. Like I said, and we left the stop alone on this one. We still be in the trade. Still be good. Let's see. Nope, oh, we don't take this trade. It doesn't trigger us in. This was one planted to break previous high of day off of the five minute with a little confirmation coming off the lower time frames. But we get out of that one. That is going to be our next stock that we trade, though. Let me speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. All right, so we got that order in the system. Getting in off of this five-minute candle, if you notice right there. Getting in off that five-minute candle. This is somewhat forming like a pennant. If you've ever been to like a baseball game and you get one of those pennant flags where it's like a cone, notice how the higher lows, lower highs. Higher low, lower high. Higher low, lower high. So it just keeps making this pennant until it can't really do anything. It makes a little sharp point. And then it got to break out one way, either high or low. So if it breaks out, I want my stop to be on the widest side. Now, entry probably could have been right here as it's breaking this, but the stop is going to be down there. But look, it's, it's kind of forming another little piece to the pennant. We're going to get in this one in about a minute. You come look at the 10. It's kind of forming that same little pennant. And then it's just consolidating right here along the previous high of day. And there it goes. So see, we really could have got in on this break because it's, it's breaking the pattern for the pennant. And it's setting that high right there. But look where it came, just to that candle right there. Look at it on the two minute. Came just to where we have our entry at. And then boom, triggers a sin. So like I said, really could have got in when it broke this one. Stop down there to give it extra room. Don't put the stop off of this one. Give it the long area for the stop but notice how I just peekabooed over I was hoping that this would at least give me 16 go to the whole number and then I need to get a little concerned so let's speed it up there it go it's acting like it's going to move there it is and look 16 would have gave us 63 that would have gave us 1R Back looking at R N A. This was man. This one was well thought out. This one was well thought out. I just didn't stick to it. And then we see DraftKings failing. When this one broke the low of that candle, I really should have known that that one was done. And I should have been tightening my stop up. And see, we're back in 
RNA got in this one when it held this area right here. I put this line on there because that's pre-market high and it's holding, giving it room all the way down to the prior pivot. So gave it good room. And see right now we break even on DraftKings. And it's crazy. The ones that I tighten my stop up on are the ones that go. The ones that I don't tighten my stop up on are the ones that fail. It's amazing how the market just works you over like that. And there it goes. That's kind of cupping. Don't want to see that cup. I want to see it setting new highs. Because now I got to fight with that high. So see how I'm playing with the stop. I should have left that stop. Let's see where we had took the stop to. So I got the stop at break even. I took the stop to break even. And I'm like, uh, this might work. Let me move it. I should have kept my guns on that one. It's crazy. So like I said, the ones that I don't keep the guns on, so now look, I'm bringing it back, tightening it up. Over here looking at NVDA, which I have no clue why I was looking at that one. Okay. Uh oh, let's back this up real quick. Let's see what we were getting in on this one. Oh, this was another good trade, y'all. Let's look at the five minute chart. Let's take that back. We're going to look at the five on DVN. Look at this nice little pullback. I kind of missed the entry already. It's already going. So we're giving a 25 cent stop. That should be 200 shares. Yep. So that's good. Actually now, because I'm late, I'm giving it a little extra room so that I can get in and my stop will still be below that candle. And see, look, it's still got it below it. Notice I didn't set my target. So right now it's basically at a one to one, which is good. That's usually what I say. I want my first area of concern to be one R. I come back looking at NVDA. NVDA always blazes me. Let me speed this up. Now look at look at DVN. We up half an R. Stop break even. Just because this does this does have a little 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 worry, but it's strong. Look at it. And DraftKings is just should have got out break even. So quick. Look at what DVN did came and stopped us out basically break even and it's about to head up there let's keep scrolling we won't take our next trade till 11 still got a few minutes look at DVN y'all Remember, that was 1R. So, and some, one thing that Evan said, he was like, man, I might have to change and just be content with 1R. That actually is not a bad idea because if you think about how many trades I take that I get 1R out of, I could take four trades, get 1R out of them, and I didn't made 4R that day. Because if you look, the NVDA trade, we was up. Um, if I would have stayed in RNA, that one would have been up. And like I said, this one right here would have gave us 1R. So, uh, let's go back. Let me pause this real quick and take a look at this chart. Looking at this is not a bad, it's not bad. 
breaking that candle stop on that one five is just basically showing a nice little pull back and go this really don't look like a bad trade but nvda just and then the market was ugly too so not getting the help from the market because the market was actually kind of blushing so it really wasn't a smart idea to be trying to go long against the market but look at that thing it just crushed us look at rna man this thing working to perfection first area of concern was there this was an area that we was worried about and this thing is just going potential to fill the gap but first possibly run into this little area right there and what did we get out of that one for only made seventeen dollars and forty cents on that trade ugly this was nvda just crushed our dreams now we're down to r again everything on it looking decent and then what do i go do I take a short this is one of those ones that i take and I need to get the stop to break even immediately, if not sooner. I need to have the stop to, because I'm just looking for a quick pop. But when this failed to go higher, I'm like, okay, it's going lower. So it's going. And then it just crushes us. This should have been what I was looking at. Look where it came to. Right to VWAP. That should have been expectation. That should have been expectation. That this is going to come and tap VWAP and bounce back up. Even if it was going down. Come over and look at R. Look at that. We up one R. Remember what I just said? If I was just taking one to one trades. That's another one R trade that we up. Because the thing is, we are taking good trades, just not being patient. And then look what I do on that candle. I'm like, uh-oh, it's, it's rolling over. So I move the stop up. And I'm like confused, evidently. Now I'm just trying to like, well, let me just capture half an R. And we just capture that little bit. I don't even know. I'm going to have to look at the chart and see what that continue to do. Let's see. Man. Man, man, man. Let me pause this real quick. Let's flip over to there real quick. So this was that trade. This was that trade. That was the red candle that came back and tagged us. Let's look at it on the 10 minute chart. Look at, that's where we got out. It continued higher. It pulled back just about to break even. So had we took the stop to break even, possibly would have got tagged there. If it didn't tag us at break even, Money. Look at it on the 30. Money, 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 money. So I need to reevaluate. Need to reevaluate. Am I going to, in this market, go for one to one base hits after it makes that initial push? Or take the stop to break even take it to break even and let the trade either stop us out break even or let it work one of the two but what we're doing right now is not working this was that bad trade that we just took on nvda 
just trying to flip flop. And it's going to let us know that you was kind of crazy for trying to flip flop. Let's speed it on up and look. Whoo! That is what you call getting blazed. When I say I got blazed, that is getting blazed. So bad trade. No reason to be flipping. But look at what it did. Remember when I said I should have been getting out right there? It actually gave me more opportunities testing the VWAP to where I could have came and put my stop just on the other side of it. I watched this thing come all the way back up and stop me out full. And now I'm down 3R. And then look what it does. This is not a stock that I should have been trading because I know the significance of this area right here. This green line, I know the significance. It needs to break it, retest, and go. Not just chop around. Look at these candles. Look at these candles. It's just chopping around it. But this made me think that it was going to go higher. And then this thing just tanked. And because I was down 3R, I just kept trading it to try to get back break even. Which we do get a good trade in. It's coming in two minutes. Let's look and see what we took on this one. So taking another short. And that's because you can't see it here. But the market was selling off. The market was selling off. So we in this short. This is the one. Watch this thing. Look at that. All right, let's keep let's keep scrolling. DVN. Oh, this is, I got blazed on this one too. This is when I, I just got sloppy, y'all. Not trading any real patterns. I'm just trying to trade what I'm seeing. And that is not what my trading plan. My trading plan don't tell me to trade what I see. It tells me to trade what the charts are doing. So I took a short on this one. Thinking it's going to break this area and drop. Another one. Where I say I got blazed. Smart play. Let this pull back. And then look for a sell setup to come back down. Not buy here. Because it has. It's going to do exactly what it did. But then it said. No we're going to show you just how strong we are. Blazed. And then what do I do? I go and I flip it and get in where I should have got in. So now I'm in two shorts. I'm in DVN going short and I'm in NVDA. And look at what NVDA is doing. I actually got out of this one way too early. But at that point, this is how I end up with 13 trades in the morning because I'm just taking little nibbles at it just to try to get back green. A lot of times it works. Look at this stuff. What did I bring the stop to? So brought the stop to 62. This thing just keeps pushing. This one here is a touchy one. Let me bring it back real quick. That's a touchy one because it's at the VWAP. So it's possibly could push. So that was one of them hard ones but look at what it does i told you the, the market is crazy when you say okay i need to get out of the trade and get out is when it just keeps going and then when you stay in it is when it smacks you the market is crazy 
But look at what NVDA is doing. We at Target. Remember, Target is 2R. So we're at Target, and we're just trying to squeeze a little bit more out of it. So we got our stop now set at 96 bucks. Trying to squeeze just a little bit out. But look at where it's sitting at. Right at an area that we got marked on the chart. Right at the 50 moving average up here. So. Definitely need to be watching. There it's fighting. And boom, we get stopped out. We are inside of our 30 minutes. I'm not going to do these last two. Because I need to get outside and start cleaning my backyard up. But I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me clean that one out. Why is that one popping up? There we go. Technical difficulties. Man, man, man. Hold on. I did move that a little bit too soon. Let me let me go back real quick. Just so you can see. Look at what it did. It busted through that area. So we definitely had gave up some extra money. Probably could have won a two-minute bar by bar on that, but let's go ahead and wrap this up. I need to get outside. This actually kind of look like it's getting dark outside. But appreciate y'all watching. If you didn't stuck around this long, I really want to try to get these down to 15 minutes. But on days like this, when I didn't took 13 trades, it's going to be a lot. But um, start trying to kind of go through and um, kind of go through and just kind of pick some trades to review. Or y'all let me know in the comments if y'all won't like the format of me going through doing a full recap or just to hit some of the highlight trades. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Uh, I think we're going to be on a tropical storm watch. Not a warning, but just a watch, I believe, tomorrow. So y'all have a good day, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.